Good morning, everybody in the Cryptoverse. It's 5.05 a.m. Friday, January 8th. For all you Litecoin fanatics, let's take a look at Litecoin. Now, remember, this is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. Do your own trading. All I'm going to do is show you my opinion, which could be totally 100% wrong. Okay, now the first thing you're going to notice, I'm on the 12-hour RSI. We are still at the top. Um, buying in at the top, you're going to lock yourself into a trade that's not going to make you any money. That's a risk that most people aren't willing to take. If you're going to buy in, you got to buy in at the bottom of the stock RSI. I use the 12 because I'm a very cautious trader. You'll notice when it hits the bottom of the stock RSI at the 12, what happens? It goes up. No matter even if the market's in a decline. See, like over here, it hits the bottom. You buy in somewhere around here, and it goes up. You sell off. When the stock RSI hits the top, it works. It seems to work all the time. Though I trade on the 12 hour, I do not ignore the other factors, like the 1 hour through 8 hour. I check those as well. Alright, you can see we got a little bit more to go on this 1 hour upswing. But if you can follow the Stoke RSI, you'll notice each and every previous climb to the top, we're getting weaker and weaker headed toward the overboard area. So um, eventually, this is going to lead to a, a larger correction over a number of days, possibly four to ten days. You just have to have patience and wait it out. Do not buy at the top. You buy on, on the green. You buy at the bottom of the red. Like in this instance, if you were trading on the one hour, you would buy down here. Most people trade on the four hour. You would still have to wait a little bit more time so you would get the best price. Myself, I like to swing trade. I don't have the time to be sitting here watching this board 24-7. I got other things that need doing in my life, so I swing trade, which is anywhere from four to eight days. You see, it's almost at the bottom. So I would honestly wait until that 12 hour. We're going to have a couple of days of correction. You'll notice after every upswing, we do have a time where we get correction. You see all these reds here goes up we get a correction you see all these reds here now we came out of the gate we took a big dive then we started going up again they still had strength to go up but now we topped out again you see this long candlestick wick and then we went down but I don't think that's just the, uh, the end of it I think it's gonna be a couple of days now I would say Anywhere to four to eight days. This RSI cannot stay this high this long. You could check. It, it could possibly stay in this area for a little while longer. Possible. But eventually it's going to have to come down. Where would you rather buy? At the top of this RSI or at the bottom of it? What happens when we hit the bottom? of the Stoke RSI 12 hour. It's very apparent. Have faith in your own judgment, people. Discipline yourself. Learn what works for you. This works for me, might not work for you. Maybe you want to run, run off the four hour, go right ahead. If you feel com you know, comfortable doing that, go right ahead. And 
you might want to check the MACD. You, you see what I'm saying on the Mac on the MACD on the 12 hour? We still have room for more green. But you see, eventually it'll go red. So that's another tool you can use on a 12 hour when I see this hit peak red at the bottom. I'm going to start uh, looking to buy in. Right now, we're, we're going to slowly going down from a MACD that's in the green that's going to go into the red. So we're, we're headed that way. Uh, you can also use these MACD uh, ribbons that are up here. And you can see when it reaches that high, it's got to go down. It's got to go down. Look how high it is. We're at 13.77. Let's go take a look at this one. Oh, we're, we're way, way over the top. Well, that's why I say this correction is probably going to be very strong. Uh, 25 to 30 percent. So have patience. Watch your charts. Don't watch me. Watch your charts. Be ready. And you'll jump in at the bottom of the 12. Check all your other singles. Make sure they're down as well. When this hits the bottom of the 12, come in. Set yourself up for your next trade by buying in at the bottom of the 12. And when the 12 goes to the overbought territory, say about 95%, you cash in your chips. Don't worry if it goes higher because you, you ended up making profit anyway. And if you're going to sit there and play that game where you think it's going to keep mooning, you might end up stuck at the top if it drops suddenly. This way you protect yourself. You can't throw caution to the wind when trading. That's how you end up making bad trades or you take a perfectly good trade and you wreck it because you become greedy. So on that note, I'm out of here. You guys have a good day and good luck in your trading.